of terra poesia. This is level two, the water tank. So I'm um, going to search out this barrel, there's nothing in it. And there's some boxes. This one's empty, so you can just break it anyway for no reason. Check this for uh, the shelves for a key. This box has flares flare in. And uh, that's the other box. I'm going to shoot it, it will spawn some spiders. Spiders. Come on. So if you do have um arachnophobia, I would be warned to ask some uh, much larger ones. Later on in the game, in the next level, actually. So put the key in the uh, keyhole and move on. Let me jump and grab this um, leg, pull up and shoot the uh, the grave the gate out, push the button. Now this level is a bit long, so I might have to cut it up into um, two separate videos. Because this one is going to be about 45 minutes. And that's going to lower the uh, cage is there. It's also going to stop the blade from moving. And more importantly, we raise the, um, le the platform over to our left, right there. Let's put it here. And jump. Just jump onto that a platform. And yes, I do recommend saving here. And we are trying to do a um a night jump. Yeah, so let's do a banana jump or a horse two jump, whatever you wanna call it. Game we're gonna jump. So I'm gonna go with banana. Banana sounds more awesome than horseshoe. <laughs> so we get so come over here we get a flyby and we'll see two receptacles. For some uh, items. And now the five by will go over here and it will show you that. That is the uh, goal of this level actually, to get them, um, to really get two of them. And of course, we're going to be doing that in, um, in this video. We'll be doing it in the next one. Cover dog and get the other one. So, uh, there we go. Now, 
I'm pretty sure there's a third one somewhere. There is a... Maybe there isn't a third one, but I was pretty sure there was. I can't, I can't find it. Well, there might be a uh, two. There might be three. But I definitely can't see the third one. So let's just carry on and see good. And if the third one does come out, we'll um, take care of him. Pull this chain, and that's going to flood the middle pool with water. It's also going to release the coin. We'll, we'll be getting that in just a second, but first I want to just get this. Just took off the, um, I think it's Ryan sword, something like that. And I'll just add the axe, like um, the crowbar. So yeah, just treat it as if it was the crowbar because it is really. And we've also spawned this green lizard. So, take care of the green lizard. Outside, so the mic is picking up the rain. Just try to ignore it. So that lowers the um, cage to the left. But first, I'm going to come out here just to double check that the dog is not there. I'm not. Okay, I'm just going to assume that there's not a fair dog and we're going to carry on as normal. Grab the, um, don't do that. I'm going to jump up and grab the monkey bars. And go forward. She moves a lot faster. But anyway, come up here and there will be a dog. So be careful. There he is. Jump backwards and try and kill him. Anyway. Lever back into the a trap door. Now we are going to go through the trap door right now. So just jump. I was trying to just jump over to the ledge that she um. But she grabbed at the bars. I just wake up, so I'm uh, a bit tired. Hello. Let's move 
not clear. I grabbed the like last and there is going to be a bat. Now we're going to go down this drift line and uh, release it early so you land on here. There's another bat, and we're going to do some jump to there. Now, this next room is the bane of my life, I tell you. thing you want to do is get a secret. The first secret of the game. Finally a secret. I'll just give damage there. Okay, I'll just um, press zero on the keyboard to use a um, more medi. Because there is no way doing the name Edwin to this. I think it's possible but I'm just not going to do this. Pick up this um fire love light I think it was called but I don't remember. But that uh, elixir thing, the um, flask whatever it is, that's basically a large med pack. But I like how he's um, changed it in this. It makes it more awesome in a way. So yeah, uh, mm. put back. So I died quite a lot in this part. So, um, yeah, he's never made it and fired this. So you, can, you can get through that without taking damage, but I've not had any luck with it on this attempt. So just send me along. And head on off. She goes on some shimmy onto that one, but just let her get a footing if um, she bugs out like that. Then just let go and grab this one. Now you want to turn this handle. Across here, turn around, jump to where the flame is when the flame disappears. Don't jump when the flame is up there because that would be bad. I can slide down, but never mind, let's do that again. You yeah, don't jump when the flame is up. If you move on this 
fire at all, the flame will get you. Oh, but I think we can jump from here safely when the flame is up. As you look to the left, that tire is slightly lighter. Just, that is a door to a secret that we, that we will be getting in a little bit. We are going to have to do all this again though, this whole um, that trap room. It should be a bit easier because we've, we've opened the door now. Is that a door will open for us in a little bit as well. the um, lever first. Just post commentary so I am um, doing this from the day after. I've got to leave it and we're going to spawn two ropes. But I really can't get to it what to do now. And now we're not going to swim on the ropes just yet. We're going to be doing that. A little later on, so the ropes are uh, going to be used near the end of this level. I think it will be in the next video, not this one. So we grab this key until these knights will spawn. Go back there now. Let's get back there. Okay. Think of the door in that he dropped. To get back to where the um, door is, you want to go through the here. So I just had to do something then. That's why it froze for a few seconds. Go still through here. And this will give us access to the um, secret that wasn't there before. Needless to say, I hate this part because it always gives me death. Always. I don't hate as in dislike it, I mean, hate as in I just stuff at it. I don't know why there's a pole there, I can't get her to use, grab the pole, so I'm just going to do it this way. I know Pascal probably, oh well that's pretty good. <laughs> I know Pascal probably intended us to use that pole there, but this way is just a lot. Oh, I just don't know, I can't, because he won't grab the pole in this game. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but... I've, not, I've never been able to make him grab it. So just... Slow rambling on here, so just come up to the top. And uh, thankfully we don't need to use that um, climbable wall. But, but that does not look obvious to me, that climbable wall, never mind. Yeah. So one more at this area. Where we'll be our final farewell. There we go. So 
I'm gonna come up here. Um, this is where the secret is. This is secret number two of seven. Easy as some smoothie clips. Which is awesome because we need to use these. We don't need them, but that'll come in very handy. I think there were four secrets in this level. Well, apologies for the walk there are four. But in uh, one of the clear leagues that I played, apparently, there's an extra one. So it's not in the walkthrough, but we'll uh, look at that when we get to it. The place the. Uh, And it will show you where we got to use that key that we picked up earlier. Got to uh, use it around here. Now bear in mind that this is that we that this level is pretty um so the game just um froze for a second then. But never mind. That's frozen for a few seconds. It's gonna look like I forgot what I was doing, but it's not the case, I promise. There's a rat right there. There is a ton of rats. That's gonna like the rats, I guess. Just come over here, push this button, and that is going to open up this. I can use this to lure the rats in. Come on, Ratty, listen to you. There you go, try and shimmy so the rats don't bite you on their way down. And also, what's a good idea is to just do a kind of a leap around the entire level, around this entire room, just in case any rats do. Get stuck, so I look like to run around this area once. Now you may notice that there are some underwater levers in this room. That is a sign that we will have to flood this at some point. But again, we're not doing it in this video. That will be a next video. Check that there are no more rats around. There. What we want to do is we want to push look up top of these tiles and you'll notice I've got these hexes on them. Our goal is we're going to try to uh, shut this grating actually just in case. I'm sure the great thing is just to be remembered. But we can't shut it for some reason. Hey, look at the other left, we want to get those onto the um, pictures on the floor there. That's close. No, I'm a What are you doing? Oh yeah, just, just to show you, you can't press this button, I'm pressing the action button, and 
barrels. Again, there's nothing in it, but uh, we have a closer look to the right of where we were. And just take this missing house here. So we'll get the crossbow. And when I take this off, we do spawn some skeletons. And then to ignore. Because we don't have any of the um, cow ammo. So we're going to save the game. I'm going to quite struggle with the later tonight. And aim for this grating. Since this game is one much player, I'm going to bring them over here and then come over here. Leave out this lock, there are some. Buster bolts behind it or underneath it, should I say. But I'm going to just. No, I can't get it. I'm going to just go back. Let's bring it over here. See if we can get to it quick enough. No. Jensen, be nice to me. Grab the key first. So, one sec, guys. Okay, so the uh, Windows Move Maker kind of crashed, so I have to do it again. I've tried to use Windows Share, but that is giving me issues, so I'm, I'm, I'm just moving back to. Uh, Movie Maker again, it's just simplistic and better. Mm. Hence why videos not, are not in 1080p anymore. <coughs> Mine is so uh, tough right now. I'm being honest. I used the solar key right here. Mm. This game just might wrap up a little bit, but never mind. They're fine. So they disappear when you uh, go there. So there's going to be two lizards around here, which we do want to uh, kill pretty quickly. Let's pull them both and uh, yeah. And now, wait for him to die. Switch. Why not? So once you have pulled the jump switch, we've opened up a uh, door. And I see you do want to go to the other side of this area. I'm just uh, a bit tired of my recording this. I suppose I could have got this done in 45 minutes if I was a bit faster. 
and just the sprint a bit more. I think. But uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, the gears is pretty really okay with me. I just don't want to do a video that was too long, so this is this uh, level. This is why this level is in two videos instead of one. But, you know, better than being. Ah, oh, this level is. This first video is going to be about 45 minutes, which is awesome. So, come down here to get another coin. It's right there. I've uh, got the coin. You can just head up here. And, um, I wanna. So I'm doing a running jump over to here. You'll notice there are two fires and a uh, large statue thing. You're going to need to put two keys into the sides of that statue. And here is one of the keys. Stand on here, the uh, flames and the other one disappear, which is useful because we need to get this key. I want to stand on here, that gate raises, which is uh, important so we can jump onto it. Pull up here, and two skeletons are going to spawn now, but quickly grab the shotgun. Equip it. Walk to the edge of the uh, thing, then the shoot. If you jump over to there, they won't follow you. But I think you jump over to the one on the other side. So you will jump over here. But for some reason, he won't jump onto the uh, other one. So just shoot him. Make him fall over. And grab the uh, small med pack. Or the file of uh, recovery, as it's called in this game. I keep saying small med pack and they've renamed it. How uh, silly of me to do that. So use both things. And, uh, yeah. That opened up that door. You can see a lever, which is timed. I quite like this level. It's very um, brown, spawn. If you keep jumping, uh, it's a move faster, and she doesn't. It's a lot more effective than sprinting, in my opinion. The doors will close behind it because it's timed. 
that was. The um, it's not too difficult of a time run. It is, uh, you know, time. But I like time stuff. It makes the game more uh, awesome. This is kind of like a way to level it, to be honest. Because I don't think you notice. There's a lot of uh, death in the first half. Or in the first, you know. Yeah, first 20 minutes. There's a lot of death in that. Your time frame. But anyway, that's enough about that. We need to climb down here. Use the key in this keyhole. And then move on. And I think I'm going to be doing away with the uh, outros from now on. I don't think there's any need to have them there. Now to follow this ladder. And... Oh, wall. I must be here. Pull up. I don't know why she's not pulling up. Lower. I see some spiders above. For some reason she wasn't coming off. There was stuff on this side. Now I think these spiders are poisonous, so don't let them touch you. And the ones in the next level, not the next video, but the next level level, are going to be a lot bigger. So in two, two videos time. So you can see, so this one's impressive here, and we've got a new area. You can see that there is a um, slow switch up there. To get to that, we need to be on this. So 
just step to the back of it and aim for the jump switch. So you can just grab it. That's going to open up this. So I'm going to push this block in once. Then to pull the lever. Now you do want to leave the block where it is. For now, because we're going to go to the other side of it. However, we're doing that next time because I am going to end right here. So goodbye.